Hey guys, uh, Thomas here from Apple Layers here, and today I'm showing you how you get rid of that proof sign across pictures that are school photos. Um, if I open up mine, I know, I know, make all the stupid comments you want. But then again, I am helping. You can see here, proof, it has a big C, like copy, delay, copy, delay. So that kind of ruins the photo if you don't want to buy it. And it's, my one was £9 for the lowest price. And it's like literally about from like here down to like there. How big it is? And it's nine pounds. Come on. Um. So yeah, you want to get your photo ready. So I would take a photo of it, scan it, take a video of it, get a snapshot out of it. I don't mind. Just get the photo on your computer. That's what you need to do. Uh, you least you want it decent like quality like this. So uh, download the program that is in the description called GIMP. The uh, GUN image minimization program. A bit of a We can call it GIMP. Um, so, yeah. So, like, G I M P GIMP. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what GUN stands for. Anyway, um, GUN, I mean. Okay, so, you get a photo, all you gotta do is drag it. Or you can, um, you know, click file, import, all that. So it's coming like this because that's what I wanted it to do. So, you want to click on this tool. This is the rendering tool. It renders out the photo as much as you want. So you want to go on the main part of the photo. So click here, here, basically what they're outlining the photo. I'm trying to make it straight if you want to print this out. Here, here. Don't actually click on this one. Click just underneath it so it's like a tiny gap. Really matter about that, but so you click on selection from path, it'll make that weird snazzy line thing. Now you want to go control I, control I, it's on the uh, video, and then you want to click delete, D E L or delete. It will come up with Alpha Town on the background, but we watch my other videos. That's Alpha Low Town. You want to click select and none. There you go, now it's stopping the lines being stopped. Um, go onto this, put it, place it in the middle, if you want, if it's not already in the middle. And then, now this is the bit where you actually get rid of the proof and the copyright sign. So you want to come from this, this is the zoom. You want to go into about, mine's on 33.3, uh, so you want to go to, uh, say, you, if you want to find out how big you are, you're here, that's the default. Uh, you want to go to about 200. Yeah, so I just see my face in a really bad pixelated way. Actually, I'm going to zoom out one. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, perfect. You want it about that, so you can see enough of it. Now, to get rid of it, you want to click on the eyedropper tool. This is this next to the rendering tool. You want to click on it. And what it does is when you click on a colour, it will make that colour in there. It will make it the exact shade of that colour. So you want to click as close as you can to the bit you're rubbing out. So I'm clicking here because this is I'm rubbing out the C. And this area to see, not the skin bit, because that's a different colour. So you want to click on there, and then you want to go onto the airbrush tool. So you want to make a nice scale size, not too big, not too small. I like this. And you want to see the longer you hold it down, the deeper depth it gets. Look, I'll show you. That is hardly there. Now put it next to it. If I hold it on for longer, it goes completely black, and that's the same shade. So, uh oh, oh didn't mean to do that. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna make sure I've done that again. So I put it right there. Make sure it's the right colour. Uh, and then goes the airbrush tool. Airbrush, you can hover over it. Just airbrush tool, painting using airbrush tool, variable pressure. So you want to cover over the C until it's exactly the right shape. So that's that. That's that right shape. You want to go over it until it's completely actually gone. And every now and again, you want to click on this tool on the bit you're highlighting again because otherwise it isn't a very realistic and it's can very really photo. Now you can vaguely see that. Um I'm not too worried about that. So there. Yeah. Make it stack smaller to get into that little gap here. Um so then again you won't actually get the texture of it. That's the only problem with not buying it. You can't actually get it that good. Um you can get it about Good as I'm doing right now. 
Oh, that's the battle death. So if you zoom out again, back to the original. That looks pretty real. You can't really see the difference unless you zoom all back in and you can see the difference. So, now I've done that bit, you want to get click on the eyedropper tool again. And you want to get this bit. You want to get like the best bit. You want to click eyedropper on just next to that bit. So I'm getting rid of that. Airbrush. And you want to... No, like a vein out. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit too much of a I think. So I'm gonna redo that. Yeah, a bit darker. Back to the airbrush. Now, lots of people use a paintbrush. That doesn't look very good because what? You can't actually get the right. Yeah. So. This is pretty difficult to do because it has to be perfect otherwise this bit doesn't look realistic. So you want to keep clicking on the, that eyedropper tool, keep using that eyedropper. It's very important, it's a very good tool to use until you have something that looks like this. Pause. So I've completely got over now. You can vaguely see it there. I mean, it doesn't look very brilliant, but I mean, it looks okay. So, don't worry about that. I'm just going to do that because it's got Alpha Channel, I don't want to draw on the background. You can do that if you want. That basically stops you drawing on the background. So you can colour all the way in and draw on the background. Um, really like a paintbrush, you can can't really draw it. Then you unlock it and draw it. But that doesn't matter right now, that's not actually relevant. Um, so yeah, you can't really see it unless you really look, um, so looking at a nice little photo, and then, oh, you realise. So it doesn't matter, so zoom back in to what you want, I do today. Um, I want to get rid of this copyright down here, so I'm going to, well actually, I'll probably do it up here, because we're doing it as we go along. So, eyedropper, airbrush. Let's airbrush our stuff off. I try not to do what I just did because that's really stupid is uh, what I just did there is went straight over it you want to want to like just you know very 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 lightly go over it you can't go over it too much otherwise it doesn't look real you can, you can notice the difference so I'm going to get my eyebrow cover colour that and then I'm going to airbrush that in nicely done oh yeah you could probably make your mouth a little smaller like my mouth like this. <laughs> Jokes. Um, so you want to get that last colour. Airbrush that all the way until there's nothing left. Why the hell am I singing Christmas songs? I'm not even near Christmas quite yet. Not working very well. It's working as well as I wanted it to. Okay, so you're gonna watch the eyedropper. That's what it's actually called. Look, colour picker tool. So called. I don't know. Well, I call it the eyedropper because so does everyone else. Who's with me? Yeah. Okay, so this is slightly working now. Okay, you'll be starting to realise the difference if you just zoom back out. You can see that it's slowly going. Now this actually takes up to a uh, hundred, no, <laughs> 100 minutes? No. This actually takes about half an hour to do, so I'm not going to show you the whole video or anything. Uh, I'll let you know when I get down to the Okay, clip. so I've done uh, quite a lot. Um, you can still see all this and a bit of this, um, but I basically need to, <laughs> I'm just going my eye, I've edited my eye slightly and it kind of looks a bit weird because that one's really wide open and that one's really not really open at all. Um, yeah. I can show you what I've done actually. Zoom all the way in. But I've painted over that bit a little bit because I just thought it would look slightly better. So what I'm going to do is I will copy that and put it there. Now you've done this too. All you have to do really is I drop onto the eye. <laughs> The R and me. I get it. Okay. Um, I'm, ooh, I'm 
Two four. Two four. This one. I'm going to make it this side. I want to make it this side. Um, when you do this, I've got blue eye color. Um. So when you've done this, you just want to make me straight the eye, basically. It's not very difficult to do, because I'm going to be looking like that. Um, make color. I'm going to get a black dot. So I actually want to get, go into colors, change it. And then, like a tiny little bit of dot in the middle, not too much. That still looks a bit strange, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover that a little bit up with white. And drop it there. Go over that. Now, you can, I shouldn't have really done this. I kind of ruined it, but this is what it will kind of look like when we're done. There we go. Don't zoom out and see how scary this is. Mm. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm gonna zoom back into that because I'm gonna have a tiny little bit. So there you go, Mr. Scary Eyes. Okay, um, ignore YouTube. It's got a bit bored, so I've played a song. Uh, anyway, um. So yeah. Uh, basically the main part is they follow you. That's really scary, they do actually follow you. Anyway, um, I've got very most of this. Uh, I'm gonna do that head soon. I shall do it now. So, like the eyes and that slight mess up of the face. <laughs> it all turned out pretty good. Um, so, what, all, all we did today was uh, use the eye drop tool to pick a certain colour. Pick a certain colour. So the face or the face. And then use the air brush tool to just blow it on. Now if you did make a mistake, very easy to undo. Edit, undo air brush or whatever you've just done. Or you can do control Z. And to redo something, redo. I'll redo over or control Y. So there's shortcuts, and you need to learn them because they're in practically everything. So, so I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Hope you do it a lot better than me because <laughs> I kind of screwed up a little bit. And um, so yeah, see so ya. Yeah. Peace out. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, comment on any video you want me to tutorial or do. Um, something related with filmmaking, anything to do with that, uh, computer-wise, um, yeah, comment it. So, see ya.